All right, take us through these ratings. Okay, there is kind of a lot because uh, a lot. So I'm going to go uh, earliest or latest to earliest. But um, Raw was uh, first. This is last week's Raw, the one that did a giant number. Um, that was that did an 0.63, and it was first on cable uh, for the week. And it actually would have been um, fourth among all shows. It lost to three network shows, which were the Daytona 500 and the post-Daytona 500, um, the post-show, as well as a, a Lakers-Suns game. So it beat every entertainment program on cable and network television. Um, SmackDown would have been, um, I believe, fifth. Um, do I have that? SmackDown was fifth for the week on network television. It actually did a lower number because it was the tape show, which still did, you know, 0.62, still a big number, but um, it was fifth for the week on network TV. Um, AW was um, 14th overall and third among entertainment shows. Uh, the only shows that beat it were Raw and Vanderpump Rules. Um, NXT was 30th, well, actually 66th. It was 30th among first run, but 66th if you include all the, the Big Bang Theory shows, which beat it. And uh, NXT from last night did 570,000 viewers in an 0.16, so very low numbers for NXT. Not any um, great reason why that I can come up with. It was um, fifth in its time slot. It, uh, you know, had uh, the usual competition. Um, NBA and Vanderpump Rules, which is the biggest competition, it was just down. That's all there was to it. Raw was down, and I'm surprised. It's not lighting this. me on fire lately. I'm not going to lie. What Raw? NXT. Yeah, I would. I, I, there's, there's, it's, it's a, it's a storylines not clicking. Tricks not there. Not a lot of big stars from the main roster. I mean, the Good they Brothers get, are there, but we're not. They had Gallows, no, Becky Lynch, no, and 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 uh, Ridge Holland, but yeah, they're not big stars. No. Um, yeah, I would say the same. Um, and it's not getting a lot of. I don't feel a lot of buzz for NXT right now. The um, Raw did one million seven hundred thirty-eight thousand viewers and zero point five seven, which is a lot lower than I expected, especially because they were coming off that, uh, you know, the um, Elimination Chamber. You know, you would have expected the number to go up, and um, you know, but whatever. It was. It still beat everything on television except for The Bachelor. Um, killed everything on cable, as as it will, unless there's a giant sports event from now until maybe eternity, or until until uh, they go to Netflix. By the way, before I get to that, um, the, at the they had the invest they had the investors call. Um, and do I have my investors call notes here? Hold on. Um, they had the investors call yesterday. And um, the key stuff, um, you know, it's a bunch of numbers and stuff. And I'm not going to go through it. The only stuff that, that the thing that brought this up is that Raw will end on the USA Network the last week of September. It will debut on Netflix the first week of January. So we have three months where we don't know anything. And um, on the investor's call, it was brought up, you know, the three months. And the one thing that was very clear is they have no idea. They expect that it will be this somewhere. This from day one. They were like, ah, we've got it. I mean, we will uh, we'll have something. We'll have something to announce. They told Still me nothing. Have, they told me they'd have something to announce relatively soon. And here we are with not only nothing to announce, but when they did their perspective for 2024 you know as far as money and profits their predictions were down which is one of the reasons the stock was, was down their predictions for 2024 were lower than 2023 even with all the cost savings of firing people and all that they expect less revenue and lower profits believe me it's still profitable as hell but lower profits this year than last year, which is very surprising because the TV numbers, the TV rights fees are up because in the United States, uh, three months of Raw is about, you know, based on what the, the show was getting, was, is, was, was getting this, this last year in 2023, 
you're talking like $70 million that's just out. And they may get something for those three months. Um, but right now, because they don't have anything in, in writing, anything that's done, they are projecting as if there is no money coming in for Raw during that three-month period, which is why, like I said, they're, expect, they're, they're projecting. They said that like they're going to make no projections about any kind of money. They have no idea. They don't know where it's going to be other than they believe that you will be able to get it somewhere. Um, and it's a, it's a hard deal to make because, like, yes, whoever gets it, if they put it on a television station, any television station, for three, the three months, you're, you're going to win the night, you know, with, with Raw, no matter what station you are, um, unless it's Access or something, you know, then you're not going to win, win the night. But, but if you're on any station that's cleared in 70 million homes, you're going to win the night. But who wants a show for three months that's just going to walk over to Netflix right away? It's like of no advantage to you. In the long run, certainly no advantage to pay $70 million or even $20 million for a show that you're not going to be able to keep. So it's a very interesting, that's a very interesting situation going on there. Well, so, a couple of things. Number one, when you think about Raw is leaving USA, SmackDown is going to USA, WWE and USA still have a relationship. I mean, they're taking SmackDown. Yeah. So the fact that Raw is not going to air for those three months on USA tells me SmackDown will be Monday nights. Could be. I mean, that's all to be determined. I know the last time I talked with somebody with WWE and on that discussion, they told me outright that, like, like nothing's official. I mean, the stations are going to have to all work this out in whenever. But... The plan was, as of right now, which right now was, um, you know, I would say about a month a, a month ago. I'm going to guess, is that it, SmackDown would be Friday, and I I don't know how you would why you would do that. I mean, if you're USA, it 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 feels utterly stupid to do SmackDown on Friday. But that was the plan as of a month ago was for SmackDown to stay on Friday and be called Friday night. The other Smackdown. question is why why can't Netflix just bump them three months early? They're probably not ready for it. They're probably I hope not they're ready, ready by January then. Yeah, I know. I That's know. a three-month window. <clears throat> yeah. You know, the other thing, too, on that is um, Netflix, uh, basically the deal is is that outside of the United States, everything with WWE, like everything is going on Netflix, like whether it's UK. India will not be there year one. But India will be there as soon as the Sony deal ends. They're not going to like renegotiate India for like a big increase if you, they could get it like they did. I mean, they Netflix's deal is that like they get the UK, they get Canada, they get India, they get the whole world except for the United States because before the Netflix deal was made, WWE had already, already made the USA deal and the um, CW deal. So they get, you know, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, pay per views, specials documentaries they get everything wb networks being shut down completely um so it's all netflix um for that and it's actually uh 5.2 billion dollars or a little under just under 5.2 billion dollars is the actual number for you know everything so um um that's and and they also have if if wwe was to add more programming this is one of the things that came up yesterday was um Somebody asked. It was very. It was actually kind of kind of funny in a way, because the guy who asked the question didn't know what he was talking about, and the guys answering the question didn't know what he was talking about either. Um, but they didn't know anything, and he knew something but didn't really know anything. And the man behind the curtain showed up, Nick Khan, who who was at the last call he was there but never said a word so if something happened um you know he would be there well this time something happened the guy asked a question and he said like um um you know what happens to nxt uk and then what happens when it becomes nxt europe like where does it go what's the deal and ari and mark shapiro um had no idea what this guy was talking about NXT UK, NXT Europe, they just didn't know. So so um, 
Nick Khan kind of jumped in. And I mean, the th he didn't know that NXT UK ceased to exist many months ago. But he did know it was going to it was going to become NXT Europe, which of course we were told when NXT UK ceased to exist that we would, you know, early last year it was supposed to be first quarter of 